nobody wants to talk things out anymore. Disappointing. Well, we'll do things the hard way then. He's the smallest member of the Avengers. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Dr. Henry Pym, otherwise known as Ant-Man. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1962's Tales to Astonish issue number 27, which was then expanded upon in issue number 35. In his debut comic appearance, Dr. Henry Hank Pym was introduced as a man who had discovered how to make objects shrink. Somewhat of a mad scientist, his research was done to not only benefit mankind, but also to prove his worth within the scientific community. Having successfully shrunk and re-expanded a chair, Hank perfected his serum with the goal of using it to revolutionize transportation by reducing the cost of shipping people and things around the world. Requiring a living test subject, Hank decided to test the experimental serum on himself by placing a drop on his arm. Instantaneously, he shrank down to much smaller than expected. Having accidentally left the antidote on the window ledge, he ventured outside crying for help. Even though no one could hear him, he caught the attention of a colony of ants. Surrounded by the insects, Hank decided to take cover by hiding inside their anthill. Falling into a pit of honey, he was lucky enough to have been saved by a friendly ant before using his knowledge of judo on the other not-so-friendly ants to escape. Fleeing, he used his kindly ant friend to ride up the wall to his laboratory window. There, he used the antidote to finally return to normal. Terrified from his experience, he destroyed his work to prevent such a situation from arising ever again. However, weeks later, he realized that he had acted irrationally and decided to recreate his serums. He also became infatuated with ants, studying them in an attempt to learn how they communicate. Discovering that the key was an electronic wavelength transmitted through their antennae, he created a cybernetic helmet and a suit capable of resisting insect stings and bites. Hank was soon forced to test his recreated serum and new outfit when armed communists broke into his lab in search of an anti-radiation formula that Hank had created for the American government. Shrinking, he journeyed back to the anthill. There, he attempted to use his helmet to tame the ants. At first, he encountered resistance from the largest ant, with the resulting fight revealing that the serum had reduced his physical size, but not his strength. But even at ant size, subjects exposed to PIM particles will maintain strength and speed levels relative to being full-sized. Using this, his outfit, and his knowledge of judo, he eventually gained control and recruited an army of ants. Returning to the lab, he snuck in and untied his assistants while commanding the insects to attack. With the ants causing a distraction and plugging the enemy guns with honey, his lab assistants managed to fight off their assailants. Before it was all over, Hank returned to his office and re-enlarged himself. Continuing to use his powers as Ant-Man, Hank went on to solve countless mysteries and fight various threats. Along the way, he shared his discoveries with his girlfriend Janet, who became his miniature partner, the Wasp. Together, they became two of the first five founding members of the Avengers, working alongside Iron Man, Thor, and the Hulk. Over the years, Hank used his ingenuity to develop other crime-fighting identities. These included transforming into Giant Man and Yellow Jacket. Come on, fuck. <laughs> Set to make his live-action film debut in 2015, Ant-Man will spearhead Marvel's Phase 3. This will finally have him take his place amongst his fellow members of the Avengers. Are you a fan of the size-changing, insect-loving superhero? For more top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Jan, I'm fine. Oh, but I do need a favor. There's a couple of mercenaries out on the beach. I shrank them down. Can you just make sure the ants don't eat them? Thanks. Eat them.